late Norwegian on Saturday, quarter-final FA Trophy. In regards to the magnitude of this game, where does it sort of rank this season? Um, well, every time you every time you go into a league game, when you've still got you know half a chance of, of trying to get into that top seven, um, the importance is huge. But in a cup game, it's you know a one-off game. It's it's make or break. So. It does ramp up the uh, intensity quite a lot, but uh, the lads are looking forward to it. You know, they know what's uh, they know what what prizes at the end of it. You know, a great t great chance to go to Wembley, um, but a lot of hard work between now and then against against a very good side that have uh, that have picked up a lot. They've just had two very good away wins, two clean sheets. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a really tough game, but it's one we're all looking forward to. Mm. And your three main defenders: Fraser Kerr, um, Neil Byrne, and Jamal Fifield. Like Jamal got suspended, Fraser and uh, Neil have been injured. Is that um, a concern going into Saturday? Yeah, obviously, but I mean, I think uh, the Jamal scenario, I think it was very unlucky. I've seen it again two or three times this morning on the big screen. Um, he's made some contact with a lad's shoulder, but he's, he's kicked the ball away. But as I say, you know, there's no there's no point in moaning about it now. It's done. You can't we can't appeal it because it was his second yellow. Uh, so and then Fraser and Neil, it just it just hinders the preparation a little bit. But you know they're very important players to us, so we've got to give them as long as they can to, to prove that they fit or to hopefully prove that they fit. So we'll uh, we'll have another look at them again today, and then we're training on the way down there tomorrow. So. We'll give them every chance to, to prove the fitness. Mm. You made a few changes at Barrow. Did um, Saturday's game have any influence on that? Not really. Um, we 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 looked leggy against uh, Boreham Wood. I thought we weren't zipping the ball around as well as we, we can do on a very good pitch, you know. And there was the reasons for that uh, when we worked it, when we had a chat me and Mickey about it was was you know we put it down to the, the amount of games and the amount of travelling we've been doing couldn't have helped. So we've got fresh legs. We've got good players on on loan. Um, and you know it, it was just it was felt like the right thing to do to give them a chance. They've been training well. They've, they've played well when they've came on. So you know that that was the that was the reason for it. Not really looking forward to Saturday. Just looking looking to freshen things up and to get the best side out against Barrow with the most with the most energy. Mm. You have got good memories at Orient's Ground. That's where you picked up your first win as Gator Management. Well. Yeah, we played well there. There's a lot changed uh, in in their setup. Not so much ours, but there's a lot changed up in their setup since then. Uh, obviously, a manager. Uh, and they've got some very good players. You know, I know a lot of them from uh, from my time in the league with Mac, you know, Caprice and, and Witherson, two very good fullbacks, Bonnie and Holman, very good strikers, very different, uh, complement each other very well. But you know, we've got very good players as well. Um, and as, as, I, as I tend to do, I, I know all about them now. Um, I've done my homework on them, but my my focus is on us and how we play. And how do you expect Saturday's game to differ to the one back in October? As I said before, I think they'll be stronger. Um, I think they'll be they'll be much harder to beat. I think it'll be a much closer game. But uh, as I said before, it's a cup game and it, it's a game where we're, we're confident. We, we we should be buoyed by the second half performance we put in it with uh, with ten men away from home to to create the amount of chances and and sort of you know probably the team that should have won it in the end on on chances created second half. Uh, we've got to take that momentum into Saturday now. You sometimes find teams. Up at the upper end of the National League or teams that came into the league don't take the trophy as seriously as they perhaps could have, but that certainly is the case for yourselves in the Orient, would you say? No, I think I don't know how Orient are taking it, but regards to ourselves, it's a you know, what more of a, what more of a motivation do you need than a chance to go to Wembley as a player? Not many players get a chance to go to Wembley, even very, very successful players have never been to cup finals. So it's a great chance for our lads to, to it's a great goal for them, you know, something they'll remember for the rest of their lives. As I said, we were there last year with Macclesfield. We didn't get the result that we wanted, but the the occasion and, and the fact that we're playing at the National Stadium, you know, was was massive for everybody and families and friends and, and support as it, it's it's a great uh, it's a great goal at the end of the season, you know. If we, so it, it's that's all the motivation they need really. Mm, you touch on it there. You're at the stage now you can't help but uh, think of Wembley. No, you you can't. But it's um, you know that we won't be thinking about Wembley when we when we step onto the pitch Saturday. We'll be thinking about beating Leighton Orient, uh, winning our individual battles, playing to a potential that we know we can. Um, if we do that, then we've got a very very good chance of making the semi-finals. But as I said before, there's a long way to go. But it's it's uh, it's close enough that you can start you can start really sort of getting excited about it. You've got a few players in the squad who have experience of winning this competition. Is that important, like 
they've got that mentality, that winning mentality to go all the way? Yeah, I mean, we've got a good mix. The, the experienced lads, the lads who have, have done that are very, very good around the place. If you see them every day in training, they're the, they're the ones driving training forward and keeping the momentum going and, and keeping everybody's spirits up when we don't have a great result. Uh, they're all going to be very important, but we, we've, we've, got a, we've got a close squad. The lads are very, you know, very good uh, unit together. They're, they're all good friends. They get on great. So it would be, you know, it would be great for a, for a group like this to, to to sort of make it all the way. But as I said, as I keep reiterating, um, there's so much hard work to do before before then. You've got a national league team in every round so far. It hasn't been the kindest draw to you, but does that bode well? The fact you've managed to get to the quarterfinals. Yeah, it's been hard work. It's been hard work. We've we've, we've it's took us a couple of replays, a couple of long journeys. Um, there's, I don't, there's not many teams left, is there? I think there's only three in our league uh, left in it. So, um, Bromley are doing really well. It's, it's going to be a tough game for Spennymore. Uh, and obviously, by the end of this weekend, there's, there's only going to be the most that can be two left in. So, it's, uh, it, it's, it's a great competition. You know, it's our version of the FA Cup. Um, and you saw on Monday night with, with Wigan and Man United, uh, sorry, Wigan and Man City, how, uh, how special the FA Cup is. And, and this is just as special to our, our division. As you touched on before, you yet to conclude a tie in 90 minutes. Is that something you really want to do, or would you take the replay? Oh, I'd really want. To, I'd really want to get uh, get through the next round on Saturday. Absolutely, but uh, the reality is, if it takes us a replay and we go and do it, I'd you know that I would much rather happen. So. Um, yeah, we'll be doing all we can to win the game on Saturday. We we we've uh, we've got enough games coming up, but it, it's a cup competition, and if it takes us two rounds and, and and you know we're not we're not doing great Saturday, and for whatever reason we can we can scramble it back to a replay, we'll be more than happy with that as well. But you know that the goal is to win on Saturday. Saturday's game is your fifteenth of twenty eighteen already. So how's the squad looking fitness-wise for next time? Apart from the two centre halves, uh, Dan Fox has picked up an injury on uh, Wednesday, which he won't be available uh, anyway. So he, he was cup tied, but uh, I don't think he would have been fit if he if he could have played. So he'd have been the, the big doubt, and obviously Jamal. But apart from that, I think it's just tired legs and a few bumps and bruises.